Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have always opined on this platform that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. And that everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objectives. Yesterday, Raila Amolo Dinga attended the funeral of Ajuang, the father to the Kajuang's family. During that event, Raila Amolo Dinga read message of condolence from President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And while that was happening, another interesting development was happening in Embo. Justin Muturi also attended the burial of the Embu brothers. And he read message of condolence from the deputy president, William Samoy Ruto. And the question which I asked myself was very simple. Why was he reading message of condolence from Ruto and not from President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta? Because let's face it, Justin Muturi has been a close ally of President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. In fact, the fact that he's the Speaker of the National Assembly is because the President wanted him to be the Speaker of the National Assembly. And we all know that as things stand today, President Ru Kenyatta and William Samoy Ruto are not in talking terms. But the mere fact that he could read the message of condolence from the deputy president means there is something. So in this video today, I want us to look at Justin Muturi and William Ruto's game plan for 2022. But before we do that, if you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And by the way, I was looking at our analytics today and I've realized that since we began producing these videos, over 30 million views have been generated on this platform. I want to thank you guys. And to the subscribers, please, I want you to continue supporting this channel. Share the videos the way you normally do. Give the video thumbs up like this one here. Give it a thumbs up because most of people actually requested me to do it. And for those who can drop their comments, please drop your comment. Now let us get back to the main issue. What is Justin Muturi's game plan with the Deputy President William Samiruta? Because Justin Muturi has declared his interest for the presidency. But there is confusion. Most people cannot understand where he is one of the projects of President Uru Kenyatta. Because it is alleged that, that when the president met with the NASA co-principals or Raila Odinga and One Kenya Alliance movement in Mombasa, he told them that he's already prepared two political parties from the larger Mount Kenya region which will join them at a later, at a later date. Is Justin Muturi President Ruru Kenyatta's game plan? Kenyans have been unable to understand that. And most people have also been thinking that probably Justin Muturi is positioning himself to be William Ruto's running mate. And that's why he formed his own political party. But the other fact is that William Ruto is keen on developing his United Democratic Alliance Party. But why was he sent specifically to deliver that message at that event? Because remember, the Kionjoma, I hope I got the name right, brothers were actually eliminated in a very bad way. And I want to take this opportunity to send my message of condolences to the family. The police must be held accountable. So it was an emotional event. The deputy president, I'm told, gave the family almost four million to cut up for the expenses. I was watching at the I was watching, I, I mean I was looking at the photos from that event. I saw the mother wailing, could not even stand up. So it was an, an emotional event. But why was he being sent to such an emotional event? Because the president has also said that he wants full report on that matter. So ideally, Justin Muturi would have used that opportunity to relay President Ruru Kenyatta's message towards that line. But that did not happen. It's because of politics. And these are the objective why the deputy president sent Justin Muturi to that event. Number one, 
it was a message to Mwangi Kiunjuri and Moses Kuria. Mwangi Kiunjuri, Moses Kuria and Martha Karwa recently held a meeting and they agreed that they were going to bring together all the political parties from the larger Mount Kenya region so that they can speak with one voice. William Samuel Ruto has his path and strategy for the larger Mount Kenya region very clear. He has identified a political party called the United Democratic Alliance Party. He wants his supporters to join that party. Initially, Mwangi Kiunjuri and Mwangi Kiunjuri had to be kicked out of government because of associating with the deputy president. But he refused to join the UDA party. And again, Moses Kuria was emerging as a top ally of the deputy president. But again, Moses Kuria refused to join the UDA. So the mere fact that these guys met and were planning or chatting path for the larger Mount Kenya region did not go down well with the deputy president and his team. So they are reacting by unleashing Justin Muturi. Because remember, during that during, during their press conference, I remember Martha Karua saying that they are also inviting Justin Muturi to this event. So the message which is being sent to Mwangi, Mwangi Kiunjuri and Moses Kuria is simple. You either join Tim Tanga Tanga or you stay away. But your schemes are going to be thwarted. So in my view, that's the main objective why the, 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 the deputy president decided to send Justin Muturi and not his key ally from Mount Kenya region, who is the Madira member of parliament, Rigadi Gashagwa. So that's the first message. The second message, I think, the second objective, I think the deputy president is now keen on focusing on the Mount Kenya East. Mount Kenya is divided into two. There is the West, which is basically central Kenya, and there is the East, Embu, Meru, and Taraka. So the, the Mount Kenya East have always supported their brothers from the West. This time around they are saying, support us. And that's why the candidature of uh, Justin Muturi was attractive to them. In fact, most people believe that President Ru Kenyatta had succeeded in splitting Mount Kenya region. Because a divided Mount Kenya region is good for President Ru Kenyatta. Because it's going to add value to Raila Amolo Odinga. So the DP is now sending a message to the Mount Kenya East people that, look here, have your guy. You've pushed him outside there to go outside there. But I want to work with him, either through that his political party or through by joining UDA. And that's why if you listened to the speech by, by Rigadi Gashagwa, he was very categorical that Justin Muturi should join Tanga Tanga so that he's given a role to play in that team. So I think the DP has realized that, for example, the central Kenya is already in their pocket. So the trouble is with the east. So he's now focusing on the east because already he has already gathered their game plan. And again, just like I said, in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. One of the key individuals who was pushing for Justin Muturi was actually the Meru governor, Kiraitu Murungi. The other day, Kiraitu Murungi appeared in a meeting at Capitol Hill with Raila Amorodinga. Maybe there's a disagreement over Justin Muturi's latest move to work with William Samuel Ruto. So that's number two. Number three, I think William Ruto is also settling on uh, Justin Muturi as his running mate. Because for the Mount Kenya people to support Ruto, he must get them a running mate. Getting another Kikuyu running mate would, be, would not be acceptable. Most, Kenya will, most Kenyans will not agree to that. That would amount to tribal dominance. Where you, you, you have a Kalenjin president, a Kikuyu running mate, a, a, a Kikuyu Kale, I mean president, uh, a Kalenjin running mate. So most Kenyans are not going to buy that. So he's now identified Justin Muturi and he has already started courting him. I don't know whether Justin Muturi is going to play ball, but if you look at the people who are positioning themselves for the running mate, especially in, in William Ruto's side, that is Moses Korea, that is uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, and now we have uh, Justin Muturi. Muturi comes out as more credible. Moses Korea is with the people, he has the people, but again, he's not that credible. 
Moses Kura does not qualify, cannot qualify to be a running mate. And that's why in uh, on this channel, anytime I try talking about Moses Kuria, most people always ignore him. But the fact of the matter is that he's smart politically. Now, the other guy is Rigadi. Do you think Rigadi Gashagwa can qualify as a running mate? He's too better. I mean, a running mate should be someone who complements. If the deputy president is viewed as vengeful, the other guy should be viewed as someone who is not vengeful. And therefore, Justin Muturi fits the bill. And the fact that he comes from Mount Kenya East means that he can be sold, not as a Kikuyu, but he can be sold as someone from his tribe is Embu. From Embu, something like that. So they can say Justin Muturi is not a Kikuyu. We've had Kikuyu, Kalenjin. But now we are not having a Kikuyu. So I think the DP is trying to settle on uh, Justin Muturi as a running mate. What I don't know is whether Justin Muturi will be ready to join Team Tanga Tanga or whether they'll work under a coalition. But one thing I know, the DP is not keen on uh, using to, uh, many political parties. Number four, the fourth objective why he was sent, in my view, was also to thwart President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's schemes to divide the larger Mount Kenya region. Uhuru Kenyatta is so keen on winning the larger Mount Kenya region. Uhuru Kenyatta understand that the only strength the William, William Ruto has today is from the larger Mount Kenya region and Kikuyus specifically. He's been trying to win the support of the Kikuyus or to persuade them against the DP, but that's not working for him as of now. So he devised a strategy of splitting the mountain. So we have the east and the west. The west is fully in William Ruto's pocket. The East had started drifting away, pushing for their own political party. In fact, their strategy was simple. Let us push for our political party. Use that party to, to win seats, governors, senators, MPs, MCS. Then after that, we can use that party now to negotiate with any political divide. So after the election, for example, if Kenyans were going to go for a Renan, then they can use it to negotiate with Raila Odinga. They can use it to negotiate with Musalem Davadi. They can use it to negotiate even with the deputy president. So that scheme was working. But the DP has realized President Ruru Kenyatta's scheme. So he's thwarting that scheme of dividing the East and the West. And that's why he reached out to Justin Moturi. But now, again, will that work? Because the emergence of uh, Moses Kuria, the emergence of uh, Martha Karua, the emergence of, uh, the emergence of uh, Mwangi Kyunjuri, that faction can also destabilize William Samoy Ruto, especially in the larger Mount Kenya region. Because in Kenya, there's politics of betrayal. William Ruto himself is a victim of political betrayal. And the people of the larger Mount Kenya region understand so well that politics is a game of betrayal. It's a very dirty game. So definitely, there's a chance that if the three gentlemen want to stick together and push, then ultimately, they can divide, they can, they can succeed in splitting. So, but I think in general, Justin Muturi is coming in, why he was sent to thwart President Ruru Kenyatta's schemes. And lastly, I think it's about William Ruto trying to avert any fallout in Tangatanga. Let's face the reality. For William Ruto to succeed, he needs a strong team Tangatanga. And that's why the Hasla Nation was a very good strategy for them and when they decided to deviate from the hustler narrative and i did a video on this I'm, I, basically i'm going to share the link as one of the comments i'm going to put to pin it in the first comment when they deviated from the hustler nation or the hustler narrative and went for bottom up approach that's when they lost the script because the hustler narrative was actually encompassing it was bringing together all the political parties but now bottom-up is now associated more with the UDA. And that's why people like Mwangi Kyunjuri, people like uh, Moses Korea are trying to find their own space, to create their own space so that their identity is their identity. They are not identified really with the UDA. So to avert this, it means Tanga Tanga will have to be pushed away or the, the, the UDA will have to be pushed away so that it's not seen, DP is not seen to be favoring, for example, Rigadi Gashagwa, because the fact of the matter is that Rigadi Gashagwa has actually emerged as a strong ally of the deputy president. He has managed to outwit 
Mwangi Kiunjuri, I mean Mwangi Kiunjuri has managed to outwit Moses Kuria as far as the larger Mount Kenya politics is concerned. So to avert that, the DP is now not sending Mwangi Kiunjuri. I mean, it's not sending uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, but instead is now sending Justin Muturi to represent him. So M Moses Kuria cannot complain. Mwangi Kiunjuri cannot complain. Nobody can complain. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Again, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second and click the subscribe button. Bye-bye, and may you have a good day.